console. Not very good. Well, let's put it on in the reverse because I can see the tag. Not really related, but just just caught my eye there. That's a bit of a pain. But anyway, but anyway. <laughs> ah. So, oh man, do I look tired? I hope I don't. I've literally just woken up. So I, uh, I shouldn't be.
stomach. <laughs> Can't remember. But it's really quite a powerful game. This the story is quite dark. With the imminent threat of the moon coming in, the collapsing. quite dusty. We have Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo. 64. Try and get the glare out. This was a game that transformed 3D platforming. 3D platforming. <laughs> and it's a game I played sparsely as a child, um, for not for any particular reason, mainly because um, the GameCube was my main console, not the Nintendo 64. My cousin, she had a Nintendo 64, so every time we would go visit them, we'd play Super Mario 64, we would play Mario Kart 64, and we'd play Mario Party, very fond memories of uh, um, playing those games together. Yeah. This game really holds up as a platformer. It's still really, 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 really fun. And all the different kingdoms. And the music as well. I should go read back, go back and replay this. <coughs> but I haven't really been playing anything recently. Um, I'm thinking of selling my Xbox because uh, next month I want to be getting a PS4 because I want to get Crush Bandicoot and like all the exclusives on there. Um, I want to play Uncharted, uh, Last of Us, Horizon, um, and a lot of my friends would be PlayStation 4, so it just seems more like I'll get more out of the PS4. down the hall so you know I could pick them up and um, mess around like that. 
He's trying to sort of uh, basically troll or whatever, but he feels propeller. Ice Mario and the Penguin suit was amazing. Yeah, he was just uh, an amazing cooperative experience. I'm really looking forward to the Mario games coming out on the Switch. Yeah, Rabbids, Mario Rabbids. But also, um, Mario Odyssey. And I hope they come out with a Mario Bros. Switch. Zelda Twilight Princess HD <laughs> the remake for the Wii U and this is the uh, collector's edition it came with the wolf link amoeba I don't know if you can sort of see it there Midna riding on the wolf 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 and I love the box art I see Ganon and Sam Explore the world. 
side quest that was, you know, bits to do. It wasn't particularly difficult. But then, none of the Zeldas really are anymore. Breath of the Wild was um, had more of a challenge. But yeah. Yeah, that's right, I read it on the back. Uh, I didn't read it on the back, but it says on the back. sense I was like oh uh, right it needs to be like this and then yeah I was just, I wasn't very chill I'm just sort of experimenting so the and that reflected in the levels the game I was really rigid and just pretty shit <laughs>
said some men just want to watch the world burn and I found that really funny for some reason. It uh, had me chortling. sisters and uh, Mario Kart Wii was awesome being able to sort of you know move like that and then Mario Kart 8 came out and this was a very great looking Mario Kart great new items you had the boomerang flower the super horn and the piranha plant and the new courses were great as well because they sort of uh, incorporated this anti-gravity So the final game, the final game that we are going to look at is I need to do a roleplay soon. Really need to do a roleplay soon. <clears throat> yeah. Need to get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit of a I also need to really cut my hair. It's a bit of a fringe going. I have with it and how um, I got really scared and um, sort of like the tr 
trans, uh, transformation from child to adult um, in the game was crazy. Always.